Here's something that's popping up all over recently, and no, it's not a bar song by Shibuzi. <laughs> it's the norovirus, and it's been in the headlines because so many people have been getting sick over the past few weeks. Dr. Raquel is here to give us some insight on this nasty illness going around. So what can you tell us about this, and what are some of the symptoms? Uh, so norovirus is a virus and the most common cause of the stomach bug in the U.S., and it's very, very, very contagious and really common. Mm -hmm. um, the symptoms are nausea vomiting, diarrhea, all the things you love. Oh, love, yes, especially love when it. it's freezing cold mm -hmm. out. Exactly. Um, and fortunately, it only lasts for one to three days, but it is going around right now. Oh, my God. It's terrible. It's and horrible. is it more prevalent in children? Because I feel like right now, all of my mom friends are getting this mm -hmm. from, you know, the children that we love so mm -hmm. much. Well, people who definitely are more at risk for getting sick are the very young and the very old. Mm -hmm. But the reason it's so contagious is because it's spread by your fingers. Um, you get it yeah. by touching a contaminated object. If the surface isn't clean or someone touching your food who hasn't washed their hands. And we know what kids are really bad at. Yeah. Yes, is washing you, got yes. yes. you got it. You got it. OK, so I guess the, the big question is, how do you avoid catching like what can you do I know it's always like washing your yes. hands and I'm, I'm sure that helps but this this bug seems really contagious yeah. absolutely mm -hmm. the most important thing is to wash your hands with soap and water like think back to COVID days when we were singing happy birthday or your favorite yes. song for 20-25 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. seconds that's really important because it's not killed by hand sanitizer and on surfaces it's not cleaned by your typical household products and it can live on a surface for up to two weeks oh, wow. and so using two a weeks. bleach type product is really important but really, if you take one thing away, it's good hand hygiene. Oh my goodness, this bad boy stronger than hand sanitizer? Giddy yes. up. Get, oh, I'm, I'm about to get, run, run and wow. go get my soft soap. So is this more prevalent this year specifically more than any other for any different reason? Because I feel like I've never heard this name. I've heard the stomach bug before, mm -hmm. but this one's a new one and one I didn't need to hear. <laughs> <laughs> um, so norovirus is the most common cause of the stomach bug. But for whatever reason, it is a little bit more prevalent this year, just like the flu or COVID. There's different strains. Um, and for whatever reason, this strain, we're catching much more than usual right. but the unfortunate thing is is because the virus does change from time to time you can get it again even if you get it now okay okay <laughs> I, I love this I, every bit of news the doctor of Zemtov's like it oh yeah I'm sorry this yeah. is it yeah so uh why I will say is there anything that necessarily we can do at home just just wash up just make sure that we are all being diligent really Absolutely, and also if you do get it, the good thing is is that it goes away on its own again in like one to three days for most healthy people. Um, also being mindful about when it's really contagious. So people are still contagious for one to two, sometimes three days after their symptoms go away. So the hand washing shouldn't stop afterwards. Mm -hmm. And for people who are really high risk um, for spreading it to others, like people who are in the food industry or people who work in healthcare, mm -hmm. they should ask their doctor for a work note for a couple of days just to be extra safe to make sure they're not giving it to other yeah, people. Yeah, and that was my next question. If you go to the doctors, like, what can, what can they do for you? Because I think people are coming home and like, that's it? That's But you just kind of have to wait it out, yeah. I'm guessing. Right. Yeah. So it is really common, but fortunately, it, since it does go away on its own, a lot of it you can take care of at home without needing to go to the doctor by staying hydrated. We worry about dehydration mm -hmm. um, and making sure you're keeping up with your hydration with small, frequent sips of water and keeping an eye on how much you're urinating, but definitely reaching out to your doctor if you're feeling dizzy or lightheaded or your mouth is really dry, you're not keeping up with your hydration, you're feeling dehydrated, or you're feeling sick for longer than three days. There are certain medicines that we can give to help with nausea and the diarrhea, okay. right. and also make sure that you don't need to go to the emergency room or anything like that. Yeah, boy, this oh boy. was so helpful. It was. Oh, I'm taking notes. I hope mentally. you wash your hands before your cake. More yeah, than yes. <laughs> more than ever. Yes. Thank you so much for this. Thank you. For more information on family medicine at UPMC, visit our website, katiek.com/talkpittsburgh.